iTunes and the GCN Radio Network. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is doing designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. Another John Carpenter masterpiece bringing us in. You know, you may think the movie Halloween's scary. I think uh, the New World Order's scary, what they're doing, acting all friendly and nice in their suits. While they figure out with corporations how to put stuff into all the major food linings to sterilize you and your family and give you horrible degenerative diseases. And then you can even find books they've written bragging about it. Well, they all sit around telling, we don't exist. We don't exist. You do exist. And we're exposing you. All right, let's shift gears right now and go back to Paul Watson. Finally, before I go to calls there, and he's with a, a reporter who got photos of uh, the Atlanta mayor there. Very exciting, Paul. And then maybe we can shove the camera through the fence. Where is this? You're able to get these shots of them outside uh, having cocktails, the uh, builder rats. Um, it's it's around the side of the Marriott. It's across from the Knight Reddit building. So it's just adjacent to the Marriott and, uh, next to the bridge, next to the water. So it's, it's a really good spot. They didn't allow us in there a couple of days ago, but they've opened it up. So we were able to get in there earlier and 
Yeah, as I said, you know, Etienne Davignon, um, Wolfens and Eric Schmidt basically came out for a quick drink after their initial conference. Um, and we were there pretty much for a few hours. We got some good shots, uh, got some video, and then we got it up on the website. And then we came back. And obviously, now there are more of them there um, having probably after dinner drinks. Well, so. listen, we can even do a little bit of overdrive, five minutes or so. Get over there and show that. I want to see a live feed of that. That's amazing. And, uh, again, I figure they were blocking the main walkway that's public. That's why they had to probably open that, because uh, I was marveling that they blocked the boardwalk for the whole city just because they felt like it, because the royalty is there, literal royalty. Uh, who got the photo of the uh, queen? Was that uh, David Knight's wife? Queen of Spain? Queen, queen of Spain, that was Skelton. Um, Princess Good job. Beatrice. The former Queen of uh, Netherlands was out there earlier, so yeah, we, we got quite a few. We got some good shots. And, and do you have that reporter with you that took the snapshot of uh, of the uh, the Atlanta mayor? No, I don't know who that was. I wasn't around when that was happening, so. Oh, okay, I must have misunderstood. They popped my ear and said that they uh, have that person was able to be for an interview, but I must have misunderstood. Uh, now, Paul, uh, again, specifically, I want you guys to go over to that area, and you said there's more of them that there now. Uh, have we deposited one of our photographers over there, secreted someone there to be catching all this? We were just there earlier. We got we got tons of photos earlier. We were just broadcasting from there earlier. So that's, that's where, where you were at? Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I misunderstood. I, I, you're, I guess you're now in the protest pen then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was saying go where you already were, so now you've gone to the other place. Okay, <laughs> what do you think you guys should go cover next? Um, in terms of tonight or tomorrow, do you mean, Alex? Well, the Bilderberg people are only going to get drunker. <laughs> and they follow their own rules, so they're out there smoking. So I would go nest out there, and I would I would get a night vision camera, and you're going to get a bonanza. Yeah, well, we've, we've been there pretty much most of the day, really. We just Also, they there. don't let them bring hookers in. They're going to try to leave at night. And if you tail the Mercedes out of there, you could catch some really good stuff. That's something we did in Switzerland, I remember, in 2011. <laughs> they weren't happy about that. But yeah, I mean, if you're, willing to go, if you're willing to go in the gay bar, you can go in there and get some pretty good intel, <laughs> which I don't think it's a big deal. Go ahead and go in there, Paul. I mean, it might no. be an S&M place or something, but, I mean, guess, you know. We actually talked to somebody who was a gay escort back in 2011 who went to service some Bilderberg members, only as bar staff, obviously, then are up to nothing, nothing untoward. But... Yeah, as I said, there's a potential of walkabouts happening tomorrow, so that's when we hope to catch some of them um, out of their protected bubble, out of their security bubble, so then we can really get some good some good conversations. Amazing, Paul. Yeah, and I mean, I, I wasn't joking when I said that. I wasn't just making a joke, and, and I was just saying statistically, uh, that's, uh, that's where if you follow some of them, you would uh, find them going for whatever reason. That would be newsworthy. But, but, you know, kind of morally, maybe we should leave them alone if they're going to visit hookers. You know what I mean? Isn't that their private business, Paul? Um, if, if they're hanging around the hotel, if they're going for jogs, they're going for walks, which I expect at least some of them to do. Of course, in Bilderberg, they were surrounded by a lot of security. But this year, it's like Petraeus, for example. He went outside of the protected area. He just basically ran along the main street in Copenhagen across the bridge. Um, so if, if more of them are going to do that, and that's going to be a good opportunity. No, 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 I agree. I was just making the quasi joke about the prostitutes, but it really is true. My whole issue is that's not the type of intel we even want. We don't care uh, what, you know, shoe size somebody is or what their favorite, you know, dinner is or, or, you know, where they like to vacation or what their sexual issues are. What we want to know is from staff and people, as you know, what were they really discussing on the agenda? Well, we know, we know that they leaked the vague agenda, um, hoping to get some more tips and, you know, more specific stuff. And that sometimes that comes, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm, I'm just talking about just approaching them in a friendly manner, as, as we did last year with, with sure, Ed Sure, sure, I agree. Can, can you have uh, him uh, pan around, the camera guy, Josh, so we can see some of the uh, protesters that are there in the pen and uh, see what they're up to? And again, if you're a radio listener, I'll describe it. looks like about 25, 30 protesters max that I've seen. Well, I guess there's some more, maybe, maybe 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20. gone home now. There were more earlier. But. Yeah, uh, yeah well, what would you say, about 40 people there now? Uh, yeah, probably about that. Maybe a bit less. 
But yeah, tomorrow's going to be the big day for protests, obviously. I mean, it's not, not going to be 2,000. I think that was wildly optimistic. But You know, I think it was well over 3,000 that were there for the big speech. That's what the cops said oh, yeah. in England. They couldn't get in. They were queuing around the block. I mean, that, that was wild. Hey, let me bring up this cop controversy, and then I want you to run back over there. I'm sorry we got our wires crossed. And with the camera, show me them out there eating uh, and drinking. I, I, I think the viewers would obviously want to see that. We have some of those videos yeah. up on Infowars.com, but as they gather, I want to stay on top of that. That's important. Uh, but going back to the police and this guy that was yelling at you and yelling at David and yelling about me, I mean, we make jokes about it, but they did drag him off, and it looks like they're stomping on him and hitting him. Now, maybe maybe he hit them first, but they, were, they took him behind a screen. That's my issue. But, you know, now the media is acting like we're being too hard on the police, distracting off into that. My issue is then they chase another camera guy, not wanting him to film whatever they really did. I think that's wrong. Even if they beat the guy up who was messing with our reporters, I, I still I, we make jokes and say, Oh, you know, that's just terrible. But no, seriously, I do have an issue with that. What is your real feeling on this? Because I'm told it's in the newspapers and on TV over there. Well, obviously this guy was harassing us for, for a good hour or two beforehand. And um, he, I think he tried to get back into the press area and the police stopped him. And he was very insistent on getting back in towards us so he could, you know. Okay, I didn't understand that he'd been doing it for hours and had been already thrown out. Well, then I think he deserved to be arrested. I, I didn't know that. Because well, if he you got a press back. area just for the press and then he did that, and then maybe he resisted them. So maybe well, maybe we're wrong then. Go they ahead. Released, they released him after about 15 minutes. And he was actually, he came back today and there was another incident which I got on camera where they grabbed him, but they... They didn't do anything with him. Did he look roughed up when you saw him? I don't him? know. No, he, he, uh, I don't think he had many injuries. It, it may have been wrong to drag him off in that manner, but um, some of the police are on little ego trips, little power trips. Like I said with the guy, you can't stick your camera two inches through the through the metal fence when we're already, you know, 50 feet away from Bilderberg members. Um, most of them have been all right. Some of them are, are just on little power trips and they like to enforce these ridiculous rules. So, you know, it's a mixed bag as always with the police. Um, and we'll see what happens in future when, you know, more people show up. Now, this guy went through a lot of trouble uh, to uh, attack us. So I think we should give him some airtime. I'm interested in what he's saying. What? Uh, repeat verbatim what he says about us. He was saying that we report that dinosaurs existed and that we're part of the conspiracy and that you're a cia agent basically alex jones is cia your response that's what he says over and over again i think he's a bit <laughs> unstable to be honest but it's turning into quite the character let me just be honest i'm far beyond cia folks okay let's just get that straight i work for a much higher power than that and, and it's called uh, God. And I'm not saying I'm on some sacred mission, but I really believe everything I'm saying. I love humanity. And I, I'm, I, I'm, getting, I, I'm getting spiritual directives, if you really get down to the, you know, in my gut, in my spirit. The media will run crazy with that. But no, I mean, I go with my conscience. And so I'm being directed by honor. Okay, I don't work for the CIA, folks. That's like working for Coca-Cola in Texas. Every third person is an asset of the CIA in this state. I'm literally swimming in CIA people. I mean, I am so sick of the movies. Like it's, ooh, CIA, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, I'm so tired of it, Watson. What about you? Who do you really work for, Watson? 12-foot shape-shifting reptoids, obviously. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> but the other, the other thing is there's this allure to believe in really wild stuff that doesn't exist when there's so much good stuff we can prove. It's like there's still a lot of talk about this isn't the real site of the conference and that they're off meeting at some castle. You know, we've seen royalty arrive. We've seen NATO heads arrive. We've seen them right now out there drinking, talking. So we know they're here. Same speculation last year, but we saw them all coming in. It's oh, no, it's like the Washington Times gets from the Army. The official document of preparation for war with drones against the American people for civil unrest. And no one cares. No one's covering it but Drudge and InfoWars. Uh, and, and we have actual FEMA camp documents. No one cares. But if I go point something at a shed randomly and say that Easter bunnies live in it, everyone would just freak out and believe it. I don't understand it. What's the cop doing now? What's going on here?
She's uh, taping a sign onto a protester. I'm police. <laughs> the police are having some fun with the protesters. Uh, that's a community relations officer. She's getting them to mark themselves, literally like it's Nazi Germany, that you're a protester. But notice she's the sweet, charming one to do it. Literally. I don't think it's mandatory, though. Oh, now she's hugging yeah. him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get a hotel room, fuck.